strong. What's good, J2 Apparel? We're back again with another reaction for you guys. I'm Jeremiah. I'm Johnny. So we have Gabriel Enrique doing an Aerosmith cover of I Don't Want to Miss a Thing. But before it's a bit not part of J2 Apparel family or it's your first time on our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Patreon. If you guys want to go check out our Gabriel Enrique reactions, we'll put a card up here and a link in the description if you want to go check those out. So this one right here is his cover to I Don't Want to Miss a Thing. What do you think about this, Johnny? Well, first of all, this is an amazing song by Aerosmith. It really is. Steven Tyler just kills it with the way he can like, you know, I don't know. It's not like, I wouldn't say screaming, but the way he can just... His voice is. He has a really raspy voice and his voice is amazing and it like fits him perfectly. It really does. So I'm very interested to see exactly what Gabriel does with this because, you know, the last one was a Michael Jackson song that we checked out, which I was surprised, you know, that he chose a Michael Jackson song and he made it his own like he always does. So this song, I, I don't see him choosing this song to sing. Yeah. So I think he's going to do it his way and make it his own again. And I'm wondering where the whistle tone is going to be in here if he brings it in there. Yeah. And I'm just wondering exactly what's going to happen. But I know it's going to be amazing because it's what he does. So I'm really excited to see exactly what he does with this song. I'm not sure if I've ever heard this song. You've heard this song a hundred times. <laughs> a thousand times. But you we saw the movie Armageddon? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. But, I mean, either way, man, Gabriel Enrique, he does his thing every single time. He amazes us every time. So I know either way it's going to be fucking amazing. So we're going to see what happens. I'm going to hop to the video. Let's do it. This beat sound uh, familiar. Oh yeah, yeah, I know the song. I know the song. The way he looks into the camera, bro. I can stay awake just to hear you breathing. Watch your smile while you. Sleeping, right or far away, and dreaming. I could spend my life in this sweet surrender. I could stay lost in this moment forever. Every moment spent with you is a moment I treasure. I'll tell you what, bro. Definitely different. You know what I'm saying? But he sounds amazing. Yeah, it, like he's he made the song different tone. just from his voice. Yeah, yeah, even like the way he like I don't know, vocalizes yeah. it, sets with certain notes and everything like that, puts a little flavor into it. I feel like it's just amazing the way he can do that. Sweetest dream you never do. I still miss you, babe, and I don't wanna miss pain. Oh, oh, oh. close to you, feeling your heart beating, and I wonder what you're dreaming, what that efforts me you're seeing. Your eyes and thank God we're together. Okay. And I just wanna stay with you in this moment forever. See, I, I like how he can do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it'll be okay. You know what I'm saying? Because you know how most artists try to do like, uh, do something like that, and they just like overdo it. Yep. But he does it like perfectly to the point where you're like, that was amazing the way he did that. You know what I mean? That I can actually really listen to that. Don't 
That actually sounded I like really that good. right at the end there. I, that's the first time I've ever heard him yeah. do something like that. That's actually pretty fucking cool. Okay. Sleep cause I miss you, babe. And that's all one miss. That's crazy. Cause I miss you, babe. And that's all one miss. Don't wanna close my eyes. Don't wanna fall asleep cause I miss you, babe. And that's all. Bro, the way he ended that bit though was savage. Yo, I gotta say that shit, bro. The way he ended that was perfect. It really fucking was, was, bro. Because he had like, those, those really high notes. He he kept going higher and higher, and then he ended it almost like with like a whisper in a sense. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Which was just amazing. It really was. Yeah, he brought it down. Yeah, yeah. But that was just amazing, man. The way I really like that fucking one that one note he hit where. He sounded kind of high, and then he had like that little squeal like right at the end. end. Yeah, yeah, that sounded fucking amazing. I thought that was really fucking cool. That's something uh, different that we haven't heard from Gabriel. So I thought that was fucking dope. But this is really cool, man, because I didn't know how this was gonna go. You know what I mean? And I didn't. I realized like as soon as like uh, the, the song started playing, I was like, oh, this is this song. I was like, man, I was like, this might be a difficult song. But he pulled it off like flawlessly. He really fucking did, and he definitely made it his own because. It definitely is, is different from the original for yeah. sure. You know what I'm saying? But the way he sounded was amazing. He put a little bit of that, that Gabriel flavor in there and it worked out perfectly for him for sure. But that was just amazing. It really, really was. I mean, the, his vocals are just fucking amazing. You know what I mean? We can't speak enough about his vocals, but it's like the confidence that he has. You know what I'm saying? Him looking into the camera and just being like so confident and uh, just going throughout the whole entire song, not messing up. And not even knowing English like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that's just amazing. It really fucking is. I mean, and name another artist that can do something like that. I mean, you probably fucking can't. That was just fucking amazing. It really was. What do you think, Jack? Yeah, no, I definitely agree. I wasn't sure how he was going to do this song because it's not like a song, like I said, like, you know, something I expect him to choose. And he did it masterfully. He really did. He changed it a little bit, you know, added his own flavor to it. And it came out beautifully. It really did. It just, just him singing it, it changed it. It made me feel like I was listening to a song for the first time. Sure. It's like I didn't hear it before. But I thought he did an amazing job. Gabriel is just an amazing vocalist. He can really do anything. I do like that little, that little like high pitch thing. He, I don't even know what to call it right at the end of that note. Yeah. I don't even know. We've never heard him do it before. Usually he gets the high that's whistle. A, that's a squeak vocal. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a squeak vocal or something. I don't know, but it was really cool. We've never heard him do it before. I don't know if he's done it before, but I mean, he placed it perfectly. Everything he did there, his arrangement was beautiful. Just totally perfect for what he did. It was amazing. Definitely. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, make sure to like button. If you're not part of J2R family, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Patreon.